back into the page so I'm, I'm good okay all right so that boy you sharing yeah what's your now yeah so this is the video yeah I'm that the video I want to like just the video I want to like, copy okay so you copy that okay yeah then uh then I have to stop sharing the game anyway. No, no, no. Go back to your, go back to your, to your what they call. Yeah, this. no, but like, can you see like my mouse? I can see your mouse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I, there's like something that's blocking the wheel of all the tabs. I cannot like click on. So that's why I have to keep like stop sharing and stuff like that. But I'll go to the my thing now. Okay. Okay, here. Let's see, yeah. I copied this stuff. This is uh, just like the code, but it's like long. No, no, no. You see, you see, you see what you did? You put, you, you have two, you have two iframes and your, your source has an iframe. You see in the source, line 32, source HTTPS, you, you shouldn't be in the iframe. So delete everything in line 32. Actually, delete everything from 32 to 38. 32 to 30. Well, I... Line 32 to 38. Delete everything from line 32. See the line, the line number. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything from line 32 38. So, I should you delete? Yeah. All this. To 30, yes, delete everything. Backspace everything. Backspace that, that bracket too is still there. Backspace. Now paste again. Control V. Okay. Now, see here where you see the allow, allow full screen. Put an enter there just to, to make it easier to read. Allow. Yeah, go to the allow, put enter there. Enter. No, 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 no. Go back, backspace. At the beginning of the of allow, right there. Yes, enter. Just enter key. Enter. Yeah. So you, new line essentially. Yeah. So again, go to, in between and go go not the, to the source. Scroll, scroll. Go more towards the right. Actually, run now. Run now. It should be there. Run now first. Let's just see before we make it look better. Run now. It should be there. Yeah, this okay. Yeah, it's there. Okay, now but now let's clean up the code. So go to 32 again, line 32. Go to the end. Make it full screen, though. Make your code full screen. Uh how? So mm. if you go to scroll to the top of your screen, go up. Okay, frame board. Go to go to go to, go to let's first go to frame board. Let's do the allow. Go to allow. See the allow line allow there, beginning of allow. Line 32. Line 32, yeah. Yeah, allow, yeah. Enter. No, no, don't take, don't delete it. Just in front of the allow, like you did the last time. Put enter again. So it becomes cleaner. So you can read it easily. Enter. Okay. Now you can enter in between any of those semicolon. You see where there's clipboard right? So do it at the end of media, encrypted media. Line 33. And um, 33, yeah. Towards the end, encrypted media. Yeah. Yeah, put enter there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, you see on the top where there's one, there's like three dots and there's that box. That's to maximize the full screen. The yeah, box yeah. on the right. The box uh -huh. just beside the three dots. You see that box? That's the full screen. One more. Yeah, that's it. Now okay. run. Okay, scroll down to the bottom. Okay. So you see where they see where they says uh, in your in your go back to your again, line 32. What's say yeah. You see where it says height? No, don't delete anything. Just go to line yeah. 32. You see where it says width and height? Yeah. So delete one of them. Either delete width or delete height. Delete one of them. Either delete the width or delete the height. Yeah, exactly. Then I'll change the, change the height. So now you can change the height here. Change the height to, let's say, 250 or 200. So, yeah, that's good. Run, run. So that's just going to make it smaller. That's, what we, that's all we've done so far with this now. Uh, it says unavailable. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, 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 don't worry, it's fine. It was just... Okay. Okay, mm. scroll to the top. Your image, though. You see, your image didn't work. Your image yeah. source. The image source where you put for the welcome, that didn't work. So, again, maybe you have to go in and copy that source, but make sure when you copy your image, you have your quotation. You can see the high highlights in there. No, it's so like... Legit, it's a, no, this is the image. This is the image link or the image address. Exactly. So not the image link is not good. There's something the image link is broken. That's oh. where you got the image from. What? You could just try the stem of one. I can send that to you. You can use the stem of one and replace it instead of that. So okay. I don't know if you have to. 
Just you delete the link now. Yeah, delete it. That link is not working. That's why you didn't put your alt text. You see, you didn't put oh. the alt text. There, yeah, so delete the link first. Delete the link, everything in there. Uh, I can't, I can't like highlight it. Okay, no mind. Okay, delete. Go back, go to the end. Let me see. Keep scrolling. Yeah, go left. Yeah, keep going. Oh, you see, you didn't even close your image tag. There's no closing brackets there. Oh. So, okay. Oh, is it there? Go to the right. Go more to the right. I want to make sure it's there. Go more to the right. That's also weird. Go to the right. Like, go to the right, right side, the far right. Just go to the very end. We're using the scroll bar. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's the only image. Okay, so okay, then close it. Then close it. Then exactly. Close it. Put the closing braces. No, you need the source. You need the source and you need the alt. So put quotations, double quotes. Okay, then now, then put alt. Put in, not inside. Not inside What's the quotation. Alt? No, not inside the quotation. Yes, space. Yeah, alt. Yeah, that's good. Equal sign. Then quotation. You always need those two attributes whenever you do image. Then mm. close, the, close it now. Close your image. Um, oh, what do you mean close, close the image? Uh, the, the closing tag after the quotation. So the closing, so not closing tag, the bracket, the angle braces, put the, oh, the angle braces, let's put the greater than sign. Oh, okay. You see, you're missing it. You're missing greater than sign. Then in your alt here, you have to put the description, put something there in case the image doesn't show up. So whatever you wanted it to be, what was the image you put there before? It's the laboratory. I want to change just the put image. Put, just put anything, put anything, put the name, just put whatever. Just say maybe John, me, something, just put something there. Okay. Then now, yeah, run. Then you still need the source, though. So that's where you get your image from. Okay, so that's what you're showing there. So they need the source now. So you go to the place, copy image address, and put it in. I told you where to go to. You could go to pixels. You could go to, uh, what they call this, on splash. Then pretty you get things, I just add that from there. Okay, I have to stop trying to go to. Is it, is it called pixels, though? Pixels, yeah, pixels. I'm going to send the link to it. Okay. Put in the chat. All right, I think the break is over. I put the link in the chat for the for free images. The break is over. Um, Juliet, uh, you said there's something after the film. Yeah, hello everyone. Good to see you guys here. So in the next five minutes, before you continue with your class, it is very important to give us your evaluation for this coding. So I have, this is the link to the form. I want every one of you to click on this link, fill out this form. It's less than five minutes. You fill it right away because I'll be calling out names if I don't see your name on the response. As you are filling it in and submitting, I am receiving it. So I want you to click on that link and then fill out the form and submit it immediately. I will be looking and if I don't see yours, so far only one person has submitted. So I knew I know it was sent to your parents' email, but right now we want you to feel it because we actually want this evaluation from you and not from your parents, okay? So I want you to take your time now, the next five minutes to feel it before you continue your class. Thank you. Dapo, do you have a question? Oh, it was the aunt previously raised. Oh, sorry, I forgot to raise down my hand. Let me know if you have any problem with the form. If you click on this link, you should be able to fill it out. Okay. I got five response already, and I know we are 14 years, so I need nine more. Thank you very much, those who have submitted so if you have not submitted kindly do that so that we don't delay the class thank you excuse me uh, yes we'll land uh, 
Hello. The wedding. Well, and you are breaking up. How do I meet? I said, how do I? Um, I said, how, uh, like, how do I like submit it? So should I send it to like one of your emails? At the bottom, you see the option to submit. After filling it out, you see the option to submit at the very bottom of the form. Just click that. So is everyone done with the form? Yeah. Uh, Juliet, uh, Juliet, can I begin? As everyone submitted, I just one moment, Jesse. Um, I'm done my form. So I have seven responses. That means seven of us here have not submitted. I am still waiting on those uh, people. Jansi, just give us two more minutes so that they can submit the form. Let me put the form on the link because Juwan is asking. I'll put the form again on the chat uh, so you can have it. Do you want it there? This is okay. the form. Click on it and then fill it out. At the bottom, you see the option to submit and then submit it. Thank you. All right. Uh, so let's start. Okay, where were we? Okay. Or something there's one thing then now before we finish I will let's let me just uh move this in mode so you can also change like font styles using Google font that's the last part customization how can we make this more like what we like you can also select special color using the hex color we talked about the hex color earlier but let's do the some styling with the font. So far, let me go back to this, make it full screen. So far, we ran this, or oh, let me, delete. sorry, move this. I do, delete this. So far, we ran this, we ran this, this is how it looks like. Again, I want to show you something. Before we before we finish, I just want to show you something as a preliminary, preliminary. I can click download here and work compiler. If I click download, it allows me to download the program we just did. So let's say I put it here, I put it in my desktop, and I put the CSS in my desktop as well. You must save the two of them. We didn't do anything script JS, so I don't really need this. I'll cancel. You must save your style and your index, the HTML. Then I open this, you see? Everything that I did is so far, all of them is all, everything is always is on the left because that's the default. Everything always stays on the left. This is how it looks like when I finish the website. But let's say I want to make it like, Maybe more centered, right? Because typically we have stuff that are more centered. So I'll come here. Let me go back to my code. The first thing I want to do is align my text center. So first of all, the heading. Do I want the heading center? Yes, I think I want the heading center. Text. Um, so I'll do here. Uh, text. Align. Center. So that's the first thing I did for my heading. I text the line center. Also text the line, what was it? Uh, sorry? I've submitted it. Oh, okay. So text the line center for the heading. That was the first thing I did. I also do text the line for my P tag. I think I did it for the P. What was my P tag? Don't I have a P tag? Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, I have it right here. P tag right there. Text the line center. So basically everything. So now I'm running it again. So you see now it's in the center. This is in the center. This is in the center. My images though is still my image is still this way. They're still here. Right? They're still in the what they call this. They're still on the edge here. But I could put them to the center too by saying float center. So in my image here, what I did the 300 pixel, I could come here, do float. Center. Actually, is it flow center? Let me see. That looks better. Let's try now. So first, uh, I'll come here. 
I'll download it again. But this time, I'll, I'll again, I have to download the same thing I did before. I just want to show you what the difference is when I did. But we're not, you're not going to download now. You're only going to do the... I just want to show you the difference. What is the difference? So I'll refresh this. So you see now this is center. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. All my text now is centered, but my image is not centered yet. Am I making a mistake somewhere? So exactly, so all my image, all my, all my, these pictures are centered. Yeah, I can't really, I can't really do floats in this case. The best way to do it is to set the margin. I have to set the margin. I have to set the margin here. Because remember we discussed margin earlier? I have to set the margin here. I can't really do this. This is still a document flow. So margin, auto, margin right, margin left and right, auto. So I'm seeing the margin left and right will be automatic. So you're telling the computer, okay, figure out what the, the size of the screen is and just you decide what it should be. You decide what it should be. Margin still so send it left to right. Figure out. Figure out what the figure out what the, what the stuff is, and you decide where to place it. But I also have to make this uh block element. Display. Block on this. So now the image here is centered. I can also copy this part here and apply it to my video. Say it's a block element, but I don't have to do the heights and put the margin left and right to center. So basically, you tell the stuff, center all the stuff for me. Let me do it right here. What is it? What was the video? Where did I adjust the video? Oh, I did not. I did not make anything for the video. I didn't make any CSS for the video. Did I create an ID for the video? I did not as well. Oh, I did first video. So let me use the ID first video. So again, I'll download this. Just want to show you this is this what I said when to download and put it in the same section. I'm just going to save it here, this index, in case the current existing one. Could you please go now? Okay, sorry. I'll give you time to copy though. I just wanted to show you how it looks like. I made a mistake here. Okay, then now the, the video on this is centered. Again, this is just what this is just. I'm just showing you this. So, you could, if you want to center the, want to send all the stuff you've done, you could also decide to not do center text. You could also try and do it like instead of I did here was a text align center. I can also decide to make everything this way, make everything block and do left and open just to make everything in the center. Instead of putting here text align center, so leave the text alignment the same, but change the margin and the speed to block. Remember, we discussed margin earlier. So, so basically, we just copy this part. Anything you want to make center. Display block margin left uh, margin left auto margin right auto. Instead of doing uh, instead of doing it that way, run this again. I 
imagine it's just I can't do that with text. Maybe the speaker. I can't do that with text actually. I can't do blocking. I can't do uh, margin out with the text. What was I? This big text. Okay. I'm back here. First video image. Okay. I can only do with this. I can only do with this. Uh, I can't do with the text, text, text pieces. So here was the heading. Delete this part. It has to be text align center. Just do it that way. It's easier to do it this way, actually. All right, so try adding this text align center to your code. Just this part, the text align center to you, either your heading or your P tag. Adding these two parts to your P tag, the text align center. Then I'll copy this part here into your into the chat for the video and for the images. You can add that to your video for your video and your images. Instead of specifying first video here, you can just see basically all the iframe since you did iframe. Instead of doing here, you can just do the iframe, essentially make them all block and do the margin auto. Again, one thing you notice though in, in I was say one thing in CSS, in, in CSS, right, when you're doing CSS, it's, it's very hard to do centering. It sounds so easy, but it's actually pretty complicated to do centering, to make us to make something center on the, on the screen. Because one thing we know sometimes that everybody has different screen. Like for example, my screen size is smaller than your screen size. What is centered to me might not be centered on yours if I use a fixed value. So that's why we always specify like this auto and text light center. Let the computer try and figure out the best way to put it on the center. So I'll give everyone a uh, few minutes to just copy this text align center. Text align center, then I'll copy this part here, iframe for the video into the chat. You can copy paste that in. Anybody need help with this part? So is anybody done with centering your text? You don't have to download the download it right as soon as you show you towards the end when you have to submit, do it again. I show you what to, how to download and whatnot. So you can submit the I think some of you already did it before though. So is anyone done? Okay, Missy, you're done. Do you want to share your screen? Okay. Okay, you may see, do you want to share your screen now? I can stop sharing. Let's see someone else's. So, uh, sorry, I, can you, uh, can I go into a breakout room? I'm having a little trouble with the, uh, with the attaching an image and a video. Okay, uh, we can go to we can go to a breakout room. Uh, Johnson, what are you covering that that we could potentially miss while we're in the big breakout room? Uh, the net. What else am I going to cover? Actually, the next is just to show how to add Google Fonts. So basically, go to Google Fonts and that's it. Just Google, Google Fonts to add fonts. That's it. That's the last part. Okay, so uh, let me just get just put put your hand up. The person that needs to go to the breakout. It was room. Roland. It was Roland. It was Roland. Okay, great. All right, let me go here. Okay. Okay. So let me see. That was that looks really good. That looks really good. Sorry, I was looking at it too. Sorry, I wasn't saying anything. But that looks really good. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. All right. So now the next part is everybody done this now? Did everybody finish this part? Did everybody centered their text. Who didn't get it? Who needs help? Joan, do you want to share? Can you show me the code too? I'd like to see what you have, just to make sure you, you wrote it correctly. Okay, give me a second. Okay, Ron. Okay, your text sent. Uh, yes, that is really good. Exactly, that is very good. Okay, 
Yeah, that is very good. Okay, now before we before we go, we add this one more customization I want to show you. I'm going to share my screen now. There's one more customization I want to show you. It's always I wish I could minimize this right there. Sorry, my the this the bar of the always just hovers. Okay. Over here. So can everyone see my screen? Chat. Okay. All right. So before we go to the next part now, I want to just go to uh, show you the last thing we're going to do now. What was it? What was it here? The text align. After we did the text align. The last thing we're going to do, I, I showed you this part for the iframe. I just copy paste in block, margin left, margin auto to just center it there. The last thing we're going to do now is we're going to add, we're going to change our font style. To change fonts, because like think of it this way, everybody has shown different screen. I don't know if any of you noticed, but sometimes our fonts are different. If you're using Google Chrome, the font will be different. If you're using uh, Explorer, the font will be different. Every, every Each of them have different fonts, right? Each of them have different default fonts. So to, to change the font, you have to go to like what they call it. You have to you have to you have to have the font either, actually either installed on the server or you can get some free font and link them to your website. If you're looking for free fonts, all you just do is just search fonts. You search uh, Google fonts. Just put in your search bar, Google fonts. And right there, you find Google fonts. Let me go Google fonts, browse fonts. So right there, you find Google Fonts. You can find any font you're looking for. So let's say I just come here. I'm looking for like a nice font. I'm looking for maybe a, a serif type font. Okay, let's see. I want to put the name as a Okay, I want to put my selected one, Johnson. Uh, what does I say? Okay, I like this one. This one looks funky. Shizuru. I like the Shizuru. It looks interesting. Let's say I click this one. I like how I wrote my name there. Then now, once I click on the font right here, Johnson 64 pixel, I can just click here, select the style. On the select the style, you see right here, on the side, though, even before I see here, there's this here. It's showing me link right here, link. Google is giving me again the code I can use in my website for me to use this font. All I have to do is come here, click this link, copy and paste this, copy this link, Go to my code again, but now I'll do it to my index of HTML. But where I paste the link, it will paste it in the head. You see my head section, there's a link here. Make sure you're pasting it in the head, not in between the head tag, in between here. This is where you declare everything. This is where you declare like where the CSS is, where the font is, where the JavaScript is, you can put it here too. So we're telling me, okay, we want to link uh, our stuff. And all I do is just copy paste, Control C, Control V, Paste it into this. Then I can use this font. I put the font here, so now my website has this font, but I'm not using it here yet. You see, I'm not using the font here yet. The font is not being used. For me to use this font, I have to tell the computer, okay, I have to specify it here. Google wants to show you. Let me go back to the Google page. I also tell you the CSS rule. It was right here. It told me the CSS rule. I have to use this rule if I want to show that, show that font. All I just go there, copy the Go back to my CSS. Go back to my style of CSS. I want to apply for maybe my P tag. Now I want to apply for my heading. I like it in the heading. And I just paste that that I copied from Google. So only two pastes I did. So you see right there, you change the style to that. I could do any font here. Let me go back here. What was it? Uh, Google fonts. I could do any font here. I could go back again and say I want to use another font. Uh, let's go select, uh, go back to the page, go back here. Which font did I like? Open Sans. Which one is more interesting? It looks very different. I just pick anything I like. Okay, I like this one, this, this praise. I'll come back again, copy this. First copy this part and I put it in my head, in the head section. Okay, make sure you're copying only that part. It's not anything extra. See, I just highlighted more than what I needed. So Control C, copy this. Go to my index the HTML again. Again, in the head section. Just lining it up. Just like so. And I just paste it. 
Now, to use this font again, all I have to do is again apply the CSS rule. I didn't add the style. Sorry, I didn't select the style. I think I made a mistake in the last one. I didn't select the style. I forgot to click select the style. I think I accidentally clicked it. So I let me go back here. Actually, I moved this one. This is not the one I was looking for. What I was looking it looks like it's the same. It's right here. You know, pay attention. So come here and I copy it. Make sure you click select style. So that's the style that is there now. Praise. Regular 400. I'll come here. Copy this select what you see. But you see, that I'm looking for. Then I'll come to this part here. Cursive. What you see? Come here, what was it? And I'll paste it now. So let's say I want to do it for my P tag, for my P uh, tag. Let's put it here. Font, font family, praise cursive. That's the name. You see, I made a mistake. I didn't select Ubuntu for the last one. I can't remember what it was. But well, that's the font I wanted. So I come here, I choose font, praise, cursive. And I run. You see now, right here is changed. Welcome to the first HTML and CSS class. All the fonts for the PTAC change. So again, everybody, if you could go to, just search up Google Fonts, then it brings you to this page. Search up Google Fonts, fonts of google.com. I can paste the link to also in the chat. And try copying. Oh, do you want, you're done the second part? The fourth. Okay, that is very quick. Okay, that's good. Uh, so everyone else, I put the I put the link to the font. So just go select any font you want. So I chose the shizu earlier on, but I forgot to click the next style. Do not forget to click the next style. You could add multiple fonts too. You could add multiple fonts. So here now, this is for all the fonts. I could add like three, four fonts and I just have to do change different style. So here, maybe I'll just put all this instead, copy all this and replace it with, replace it with all this here. Replace it with uh, all this one here. And use, use Shizuru instead right here. And the style is CSS, use Shizuru. Recursive. You could choose more than one and just hit the single line. You don't have to do it for each type of font you want. You could select multiple fonts and just specify it to one single line. So I run this. So you see now, that's it. So Google Fonts, just basically select all the fonts you want. I could I could go back here. Okay, what other font do I like? I like uh, something like that. You can also use filters too. You can come here to the top. You can search type of font. You can do like the categories. Okay, I want the handwriting font. I want the font that looks like a handwriting instead. So this one looks like a handwriting. So I can use that too. All right, it's time to start sharing screen. Is anybody done with the second part? With the font? It's sharing screen time. I'm done. Okay, let me see. Let me see and Juwan, I think both of you are done. Do you want to share your screen? Let me stop sharing. Okay. Okay, who is sharing now? Let me see, okay, you're sharing. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Wow, that looks very good. That looks very good. That looks very good. Okay. 
Next person who wants to share, do you want, do you want to share a screen? I'm going to call everybody. Nobody's not going to, everybody's going to share the screen. Do you I want, want to share? share? Huh? I want to share my screen. Okay, share your screen. Yeah, that looks very good. Scroll down. Again, look at the fonts though. I just showed you whatever fonts. You can choose the fonts you like. You don't have to use the fonts I used. And again, if you want to select multiple fonts, you can just click view style. Yeah. So yeah, that looks very good. That looks very good. Okay, who is next? Daniel, share your screen. Well, I kind of need help. I kind of need you to like... No, Daniel. Give me a second. I, I need... I was still writing the uh, code for the Google Fonts. Okay. So for the Google Fonts, all you come. So let me share my screen again. All right. Thank you. Okay. For the Google Fonts, I said just search Google Fonts. Choose whatever font you want. Just click it. And click select the style. You can remove a font. You can add it, whatever font you want. You can add whatever font you want. Just go back to the font. Like like, I I copy like the, font. Um, then copy this like part I, here. Right, then copy on. this first part here. This is the first part to copy. The link. Mm -hmm. See where this link here. Go to your code. Okay. Your index so index. Like... Make sure you put it in the head. Make sure you're putting it up here. Make sure you're putting it up here in the head section. So I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Make sure you're putting the head of your of your code. But again, you see, I have all this multiple. I don't need all this multiple. I just need only one all this sheets because you could in google you could select like okay i want the praise i want this one you could just keep adding them and have one single line wait so after you do that me. the next part is this part the rule it's so I don't, CSS rule. yes um but i'm trying to find what i'm trying to because am i supposed to like like click and highlight like it says that i could um copy the link address like i did for the image so copy everything here not just the link copy everything here all right come in Everything in the link, not the link address. Everything there, everything there. Copy it as it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so if, it even tells you though. It even tells you to embed the font, copy the code into the head of your HTML. So just copy all this part into the head of your HTML, HTML right here, which one did here. Copy it into this. Okay, coming my HTML. In the head, make sure it's in the head. I specified it must be in the head of the code. It must be in the head. It must be All between right. these two tags. All right, thank you. Then after you do that, the next part is to specify it in your CSS. It also tells you how do I specify the CSS rule. You come here, control C, go back to my code in my CSS rule. I put it in my Wait, head. It's different from it's kind of confusing because it's say it says something different from you. Shame, shame, so screen. How, I how do I check? Screen. Okay, okay, okay. Just start. Yeah. So see, how do I? Like, I'm trying. If I click on this, what are you doing? Why are you searching that? What? No, what are you doing? You're not copying that. You're not. That's not what you click. Click on it. No, click, just, click. You're the right click. Okay. 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 Select the style. You must click select the style. Drop. Select the style. You see, select the style to the right where the text is, the big text is, right. in the center of the screen. Select the style. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Center of the screen, select the style. Select the style. Where? Center oh, of the see. screen, center. All right, yeah. okay. Okay, I see, I see. This is the link. And then I yes, see the Yes, you CSS. copy all that. Now go to your, yes, go to your okay. compiler. Wrong one. Then index the HTML. That's the first uh, part to do right there, right? That's the one. Or this that, no, one? that's that's the wrong. This is a different one. That's not mine. Okay, give me a second. This is mine. Yeah, this one. Okay, in the head. So delete that. Yeah, delete that. Delete that link. Yeah, exactly. Then paste that. Control V. Okay. Yeah, then then now CSS. go again. CSS here. Yes. Copy that. Now paste here. whichever you want, either your heading or your your p tag. Yeah. All right, I'll do it as my okay. I'll do it as my heading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then now run, and you should see the difference now. 
Cool. Okay, all right, all right. that's it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. All right, who next is to share? Uh, Tosan. Tosan. Oh, sorry, I'm calling the wrong person. Daniel. Daniel, you're next. Share, share screen. I'm coming. Okay, while well, waiting for Daniel, Timmy, it's your time to share. Timmy? I guess I said call the name they're leaving, eh? Oh, okay, don't want to share. Simon. Tisha, you already shared, right? Where's Timmy? Timmy is not here. Do you want, do you want to share? Or you already shared? Do you want that? Or you already shared? Suleiman, do you want to share? Or Nila, right? Yes. Okay, do you want to share? What do you mean you removed all your code? It should still be saved. Don't worry, it should still be saved. It doesn't just delete it. Except you backspace and delete it, it doesn't remove it. It should still be saved. If you go back to your, if you logged in, go to your stuff, you should find it. Go to the, say, go to your uh, wall, your, your account. Show me, Neil, I share your screen so we can see. Share your screen so we can see. So let me share your screen so we can see. So we'll see what you said is we said. Let's see. I need to rejoin. Huh? I need to rejoin to share my screen. Okay, who wants to share? Demi, do you want to share? None of you share. You're not participating. You need to share your screen. What are you doing? Share your screen. Demi, share your screen. David, share your screen. Continue. Okay, Daniel, share your screen. I'm, so, I'm sorry I didn't show my screen. Everything that I've done, it has lost. It's not, it, I can see your screen, that's it. So what do you mean, what, what got lost? Like when I tried to run it again, everything was lost. No, I this is me, no. Oh, okay, who is, so who is this? Oh, that, David. Daniel. Daniel. And one share. yeah. Okay. I can see you have like this comment in the center, line 11 to 22. That's, that's a HTML comment. That doesn't work in the CSS. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I can see you change all the font. Yes, that looks good. That looks good. But again, you guys use the font that I use. You can also pick the font you like. Yeah, but that looks good. 
That looks very good. Nice job. All right, so Daniel, share your screen. So, uh, Daniel, share your screen so we can see. So who just shared now? Sorry, who was just shared now? Was that David? Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. David, share your screen. Yes. David, share your screen. I said I can't. No, it's because I lost everything that I have. Share your screen. I will figure it out together. That's why we say share your screen so we can see. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're not logged in. Oh? Huh? You're not logged in. We're logged in where? You're not logged into one compiler. Did you come for the first class? Yes, I did. Oh, you didn't log in the first class? I logged in into the first class. It log in, log in again. I... Let's see. Log in. Click the login button on the top right corner. Okay. What where was the you said on those or not on Zoom? I mean on Walker Pilot. Your Zoom is why I can only see your Zoom now. What login on Walker Pilot? But where's the okay? You're still on Zoom. okay, yeah. So on the top right corner, you see on the top right, yeah. But yeah, on that line on the right, they're logging exactly. So if yeah, if you log in, you should have your information. What did you log in with the last time? Um, you can you remember? Did you log in with Google? Are you on your, your Google computer? Is this a Chromebook? Yeah, it's a Chromebook. So log in with Google then. Okay, now go to uh, go on the top. Scroll top. Scroll up. Let's go to the top again. Where you see where the, the J is? Click on that. Yeah. My account. Yeah. Then go to codes again. Okay, I guess no. You didn't. You didn't log in. Then it doesn't have any information. Oh. That's what happened. You should log in. I'll send you a link to what I have. You can use that as a as a place to start from. Okay. Okay, uh, who's next? Who next wants to share? Who have I called? Um, I turned out I didn't log in either, so I had to restart, but I put in an image. Okay, show yeah. me, show me yours. Okay. Don't, uh, sorry, uh, who's sharing now? I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to stop sharing. Actually, I guess I could stop you. Let me see. Okay, so like this is what I was able to put in. I inserted an image. Hold on, who's sharing now? I think David is still sharing. No, it's me. Okay, okay. Go back, let me see what you have. This is what I have. You need to set the image size. Remember, I told you not to. Uh, yeah, you need to set the image size. You need to go to the style of the CSS and set the image style size. Okay. So is this That's Roland? The image. Who's yes, sharing now? Sir. Roland, so, it's me, sir. Did you add the video? Were you able to add the video? No. You, you couldn't find your code, but you're logged in, though. You couldn't find your code, or you didn't have it from the... No, I uh, I couldn't. No, yeah, I couldn't find the code because I hadn't logged in previously. So oh, I had to log okay. in just now. All right, then I'm going to send you a copy of what we have now. Then you can use that as a reference. Again, then, before we leave, it's almost okay. time to end this, end the class. We're, we're at the end of our session. But before we leave, I need to say something. Yeah, let me stop. Sorry, I have to do this. All right, before we leave, there's just one more thing we have to discuss. I want to show share uh, share to you. Because of the way the because of the way the web works, 
Am I sharing my screen? Do you see everyone see my screen, right? Because of the way yes. web zones, it's, it's easy. Like if I have a question, if you have a question of something, be like, oh, you can literally just type in a part of your stuff that is not working and paste it there, paste it online. Let's say, for example, I put in like a mistake or something. I'm looking at why is this not working? You could go to something called Stack Overflow. Uh, let's say I put I want to put image in HTML. Let's see, that's how we get to the. I can go to WP School right here. I'm just because cool. and it doesn't. Okay, I can add image. How to add image? It shows you here. Put the image look image uh, location and put the alternative text. You could just literally search it up and it gives you the answer you're looking for. Or how to create uh, how to add a video, how to embed a video. Video HTML or how to add videos that's what you search, right? In HTML, you should have to add video, cross out how to embed video in HTML, right? Stuff like that, just basically search for whatever you're looking for. A good place that we open is just W3 schools. And even sometimes, even sometimes, me, I forget some things, there's some things I forget all the time. Oh, shoot, I made a mistake there. Then you can always go back here and just check. I use it as a, as a way to check back. Okay, this one I need to do. So you see even this one, it will show you like a YouTube video, how to add a YouTube video, right? Something like that. It shows you it shows you how to do it, like very simple, simply how to add it. And you can, show, you can even practice it too. It also has a place to practice. And you could try it out yourself. So if you forget something, you can always go back there and check. Again, that's the end of our session for today. I'm going to send in a link, and basically this fi the final assignment is just be for everybody to handle what you did for the final class, and basically make the website to be more you. Add more features. Don't just use only the text we use in class. Add features that that represents your style, your taste. Okay, I like this kind of color more. I like this more. Right. Don't just use only the stuff we did. Do something to present you. I think some of you did very good work here. A lot of you did. A lot of you did very great work today. So you should be proud of that too. And it's something you can show. So the very best website, we're going to feature it on our websites. The very best among the group, we're going to feature it on the websites. So try your best to show, so you can show people, okay, they can look at your page, so you can show your classmates, you can give them a link and they could go come and look at your, come and look at the page you made. So if that's something that you think you'd be interested in, you want to show people you what your work you did and what you did for these three weeks, put some time into this assignment and deliver good assignments. And I guess that's the end of our session. Anyone has any questions, stay behind, I can help you with. And uh, Juliet, you have something to say. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Johnson. Can you just turn on your uh, video quickly so we can have some pictures and then we can say thank you to our facilitator for this wonderful session. I also learned some things about coding. Thank you, Roland. I want to see your faces. Thank you, thank you. As you can see me already in my natural air, black is beautiful. So I want to see you. I want to see you. Are you there or you are gone already? Oh, Tisha, I love your air. Hey, Nella, good to see you. Hello, who else? Who else? Bolu, I can't see you. I can only see your ceiling. Hello, who's there? Are you ready for me? Good to see you. Do you want, are you there? Yes, Good yes, I am. Okay. Camera, camera. Camera, camera. Let me have your camera on, please. Thank you, Daniel. I can see your wonderful faces. Thank you, everyone. I, I have seen your responses. Thanks a lot. So next week, we are starting graphic design. For those of you who are interested, be prepared. Come early, 10 o'clock. You have uh, a facilitator for graphic design. Can we all just say thank you to Johnson for this wonderful time for the morning session? Thank you, Johnson. We really appreciate you. Thank you. All right. I'm glad to work with everyone. See you Thank next you. week, Saturday morning.
and we will be starting graphic design. We will send you whatever information the facilitator provides during the week. We'll be sending it to you on Friday along with the reminder. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thank you, Johnson. And if you have any problem, you can still stay behind so the facilitators can help you. Otherwise, you are good to go. All right, bye. We're going to hang on, right? Yeah, I just going to send you the, the call. This is the last part I just added to me. So if you don't have any question, you can you can leave. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Roland, do you have any questions? Okay, great. All right. I, the, the part that was difficult for me is them losing their work because they weren't logged in. Yeah. I think yeah. I, I thought we'd specify the to log in. I, know. I didn't know what to oh, yeah, say. I did. Yeah, it was pretty rough. That's why I had to go in the breakout room for a while. Yeah, I specify just going to send them the link again to what we have, what we had. Yeah, if you send me that, I'm gonna have that as a backup to send to people if they lose stuff for sure. Okay, but to have all the other extra stuff though, right? Uh, you have all the stuff from today. I guess I it's fine that. though. I guess what it's fine. You they, they just updated. have to know what to copy. What about the updated PowerPoint? I don't think I have that. Yeah, we just send it to you now. I'm, okay. send it to you. I'm literally just typing in that sending it to you now. No problem, no problem. Okay, so uh, Mark, we'll see you in 55 minutes, right? <laughs> we'll yeah. see both of you in 55 minutes. I really want to appreciate you guys. I, I, I learned a lot also, like it brought about memories uh, in my university when we had to do coding course as an environmental yeah. engineer. I was like, why do I need this? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what did you take that you needed it for? What did you take? What were you taking? I, I no, I was doing, uh, I did environmental engineering in Finland for my bachelor's okay. and um, there were like some of the electives you have to do some. So I didn't want to do uh, Finnish engineering, which was very complicated because it was in Finnish. So I had to take uh, AutoCAD web design. No. Oh. I had to take those two. It was it was frustrating. <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> what do I need this for? But it kind of yeah. brought a lot of memories, and um, I think it helped me because even if I'm not so uh, into coding, I am very good with other tech skills that I learn fast, and then I'm using it at my work. So. Is a way to encourage these kids. Some of them are not really interested in coding, but I think we just have to keep letting them know that uh, you might important. think you don't yeah. need it now. It's very yeah. helpful. And it helps with problem solving, they say. Yeah. Yeah. You can see if someone has a problem solving, has a challenge problem solving, if you get them to code it. That's when you can see the problem, how they think. Cool. Yeah. So all right, I think Funke was here earlier. I don't know why then I thought she was gonna stay. Oh yeah. Funke. Oh she can stop she, recording. Can we stop recording? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, you have to tell us to